Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm putting together the bedroom. My nightstands came in, as you guys can see. I'll show you guys those in a little bit. But yeah, I just thought this would be a fun video so you guys don't have to wait forever for like a final room tour because I don't know when I'm gonna do it since our handyman is currently not available and we have the chandelier here, but we haven't been able to install it. Um, I haven't even opened it. I guess I should probably do that, make sure that the parts are still there. Yeah, a lot of you guys were really curious to see what it looked like because it does have like the chandelier part and then it has the blades that kind of hide out. Okay, so let me just show you the nightstands right here. They are a little bit lower than the last ones are, which actually ended up being perfect because if I'm laying down, I can just reach over and like not have to look where I'm reaching and place my things. And it also has the gold hardware, which is perfect because it matches the dresser that I just DIY'd. It also has this kind of kind of like Greek inspired design, just like my dresser. But my favorite part is that you can't see the cables underneath because it does come all the way down. It has three drawers. I definitely needed the extra space because I like to keep diapers in here. Also like backup clothes for Sebastian because he still sleeps with us. Of course, I had to put Sebastian's picture on there. My water bottle, I like to fill this up at night. So I have cold water all night long through the morning. And then my flowers for just like a pop of color. And then on my husband's side, I didn't want it to look bare. So I just put this momentarily. I just put a couple of his books and then my diffuser and my pretty vase that I'm obsessed with. I'm gonna let him do whatever he wants when he gets home. Another thing I'm changing in this room is this little area right here. That black table actually belongs in my office, but I've been using it in here and I found the perfect table for this little spot. Here's the table. It is so beautiful. I'm so in love with it. It actually reminds me of one that Z Gallery has, which is a lot smaller. I believe it's like half the size of this one and it was almost double the price. I paid around $80 for this one at Home Goods. Let me see if I can turn the lighting down a little bit so you can see it. But look at the detailing. It's so pretty. And you can see how it matches the nightstand so perfectly. Don't mind my dirty floors, you guys. All this dust is getting moved around because I'm moving furniture and I'm just gonna clean at the very end. I feel like it just looks really good in this room. Right now I'm hanging up the picture frames. Finally getting around to it, but I think I'm actually gonna have to go, well, I'll probably place an order on Amazon, but I have these. These are called Monk. I think they're called monkey screws. Monkey, I don't know, monkey something. They're so cool because you use these on drywall and they make a tiny little hole and you don't need a hammer or anything and they can hold up to like, I think it's like 30 to 50 pounds, just kind of depending on which one you buy. Okay, so I'm hoping you guys can see this, but I have the little hole right there. I haven't pushed all the way through. So you basically just stick this into the wall. Just kind of that and see it goes all the way through the drywall and then it kind of curves and then it has like a little a little hook like that and then you just hang your painting and we have room for one more right there So let me step back so you guys can see it. Um, I love it, it looks so good. So just keep in mind that we're gonna have this stuff over here moved around, but I can't move that big mirror until the handyman comes because he actually anchored that to the wall and it has a big piece of wood back there. He has to come remove all of that, so that's why we basically need him to come out and help us. This whole wall is gonna be just the dresser that's gonna be centered, and I'm actually thinking of turning that mirror vertically. So this is the comforter that I got from Z Gallery. It basically matches those furry pillows that I have right there. So yeah, I'm gonna put this on right now and I'm so excited to see how it looks. I did you guys a favor and changed my shirt. I was wearing a swimsuit cover up. My mom watches my vlogs and she, one day she told me, she's like, okay, we're going shopping. It's like, why? She's like, cause you always wear the same black shirt in all your videos. Just like, it's just my go-to, it's easy. I have like five black shirts that I just like to throw on whenever I'm home. Here's the throw, it's so soft. I'm basically just copying what I saw at Z Gallery. They had this whole bed kind of, it was all like white and cream. Yeah, they had it, uh, they had this part kind of like draped over the bottom of the bed like this. So, 
but I do want some of that blue to peek through. So I'm gonna kind of extend that like that. You guys, I don't even care that it's summertime. <laughs> I absolutely love this so much. Even during the winter time, I'm not gonna use this to cover myself. It's purely for decoration, but it looks so good. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Like it just looks so different in here. It's such a nice change from all the mirrored furniture that I had. 